hello guys and welcome back to another video today we are going to be talking about our views on the fitness industry today just in regards to certain brands now um, influencers and influencers in the fitness industry we're not going to name the brand we won't name person. no um so i deleted this video so we are in the same outfits as the last video that you've seen but we touched up on me deleting the video so here we are we're just not going to speak about it we just won't speak about it yeah. anyways so we just thought this topic doesn't get spoken about and we just want to be real with you guys enough, right okay so um where are we gonna start do you want to start with the whole <laughs> yeah okay you can explain it more in more detail because your friend sent it to me oh yeah, well i didn't get sent it it was on their story okay so basically am i explaining or are you explaining you can <laughs> because you just said i was explaining and then you just started <laughs> explaining right so yeah basically the whole reason of this video is we want to be true to you guys and just say just touch up on this little topic because it's not talked about enough and this is our like true honest opinions you know yeah so quite it was a, quite a few days ago now i saw that this girl who i follow on instagram had posted a story calling out a certain brand now this brand they don't really associate much within the fitness industry they are somewhere you would go up and just buy regular clothes from we mm -hmm. i'm not we, we're not bashing the brand no the we're not bashing the brand it's just yeah because we actually buy from this brand quite a lot um so yeah and it was a certain influencer doing a live workout with their form where she could literally dislocate her elbow with how bad it was her back her was bending back was bending <laughs> Jesus Christ. so yeah and basically this girl called out this brand and she got a lot of backlash from it and which i don't think is very fair at all because i don't think it's, it's, it's true so this um people need to call out brands right? like if they're doing something wrong they need to be called out from it and right. i don't care how big you are mm -hmm. or not mm -hmm. so this influencer isn't fitness qualified we, she doesn't even mind. do anything for the fitness industry like do you know what i mean she's not known for the fitness no no she's, she's not known for something else something else um so um, i saw a little bit of the video um yeah she was doing a press up and it was very questionable i wouldn't call it a press up at all um I don't know if she was given this workout by the brand to do mm. or if the brand yeah if the brand gave it to her to do or if she made it up herself that is very unclear but she shouldn't be doing it in the first place no like especially with form like that bearing in mind they should, I think they should have checked that before because both of these brands bearing in mind it was a live workout yeah so it's quite hard to but especially when like people were going to be copying that if it's a live workout i would be like okay let's watch her do it and then i'll copy that's how i'll do it yeah i'll be like oh okay so she's doing, doing it like, it like this like I'll so it like I'll, i'm doing it like that bearing in mind both of the brand and the influencer have a multitude of followers and all age ranges from quite a young age range to quite um I don't know, like late twenties, mid twenties. Yeah, maybe, like I would say thirties as well. Yeah, yeah, mid thirties. So they they have like good following and a wide range of followers, and doing that like to show it, to especially young girls or people just starting their fitness like journey, they're gonna think that is the correct right, way to do when stuff. Really, it's really not. Um, I mean, I didn't see the rest of the video, so no. I don't really know what her form was like on any of the other exercises. Because we think it's been removed now. Yeah, we tried looking for it, but I'm pretty sure it's been removed. Um, it was just... Yeah, all we're saying is, this is the thing, we don't want to bash the brand, because we don't know whether it's the brand's fault, we don't know whether it's the influencer's fault, so yeah, we're just trying to be obviously mm. careful with our words here, because we don't want to obviously pin it on someone, but I think if brands are expecting an influencer to do that, they need to make sure they check over it first. Yeah, oh for sure, um, 
But then also, why are you making a influencer who isn't fitness qualified or does nothing to do with fitness do a live workout? Yeah. Like, one, they can injure themselves. Two, that's kind of influencing, not influencing other people to injure themselves, but because of their technique, they're going to injure other people. Yeah, and I think as well, like, just because this person has such a high following that is the only reason why she was made to do it but i think brands need to look for qualified personal like not i don't even know if i'd say personal trainers necessarily but someone who has like a high range of knowledge in this stuff mm -hmm. so they can actually give out effective workouts that are actually going to work whereas i've seen so many like influ not even influencers, but people just on Instagram doing these workouts, and I'm sure she's done it before, and she, oh, I could be wrong. Um, and they do a squat, and then they cross their knees over, or they do a squat and they bend a knee in, bend the other knee in. That One, is not doing that's, anything. Yeah. That's just gonna twist your bloody ankle. Break a knee. Yeah, break a knee. Tear a ligament. Yeah. So it's all good, you know. That's what we're here for. So yeah, I hope you guys can see where this was kind of leading and this is why as qualified personal trainers It is just frustrating to, there's me flicking through my Instagram Oh, there's an influencer who has nothing to do with fitness getting sponsored by a massive brand You know who I'm talking about Yeah Yeah, massive brand She posts, um, I'm not going to say what her platform is Are we is. now finished on that topic and are going yeah, on kind someone of, else? Yeah, yeah, yeah so, Staying in the same lane, we're now going to be talking about someone else who's an influencer and mm -hmm. who has, they have a platform on, on social media. Yeah, but they mainly use one more than the other. But anyway, I saw it on Instagram and I'm just there like... She literally posted one, maybe two videos of her like, oh look, I'm going to work out, this is my workout for the day. Um, and then this brand decided to, a very, very well-known fitness brand decided to sponsor her. And I'm just there like, And I why? think, I think a lot of people were very shocked at this because I have seen so many comments. <laughs> Arnie! Sorry, that's a little baby doggy. Our um, dog's just little... snoring away. Um, yeah, so anyway, now I've seen quite a lot of comments about why she's even sponsored because she's nothing to do with fitness. She, she posts posts one, one video, one picture of her in gym gear and it frustrates me so much to see because she has a really high following platform that companies are like, yeah, let's sponsor you and then we can get well known for you and then you can... You know? Yeah, you can extend it out to all your millions of followers. Mm -hmm. But not only that as well, is she used to work, I don't know what's happened, she used to work mm. with quite a big influencer who, is she qualified? Oh yeah, yeah, she is qualified. Who is qualified, who has all these mm -hmm. workouts out, all these... She's got her workout app out and she, this influencer, mm -hmm. the first influencer was... Um, working alongside her now i don't know what happened because she doesn't speak about her and she's she used to speak about her all the time all the, and this certain her. Her. yeah but now oh and then she was an ambassador for them yeah <clears throat> now there's just like kind of nothing mentioned so we don't know really what's happened with that yeah but she's also now recently been sponsored by a another brand they're not a clothing brand they supplement are more brand. supplement nutrition um, brand which just kind of baffles us a bit because, because why are you she, speaking about a product that you know nothing about? She like, yeah. do you know what you're actually putting in your body? Do you know what it's actually for? She's just because done, you read a description about it doesn't mean you know everything about it. Yeah, so she's done a clip of her taking pre workout and it was just like, Yeah, I take pre workout and that was kind of it. And I think it's because she doesn't actually know why she's taking pre workout for. She just kind of probably knows oh it's good for pre-workout um and yeah just like it just confuses me because even in her video she's so contradicting that she will sometimes put what i oh i'll do a what what i eat in a day and 
it will strictly be healthy food, healthy 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 this, i don't eat this i'm such a picky mm, eater yeah. i don't do this i will mm. never have takeaways we rarely get takeaways i would never really eat mcdonald's next thing you know she's doing all these food videos now, I'm, I'm trying to be careful what I'm going to say because it's just totally going to give it away. Yeah, because I feel like if you... Because I feel like I've I've given it away. Like, yeah. Picky. Um, But she does a lot of videos where she's sitting down eating, answering questions. And I'm just there like one minute you're saying how unhealthy all this food is and you'd never really eat it. And all this stuff and then next thing you know you're talking about how this is you're eating it and from our point of view having such a young viewing like she's got quite a range of ages yeah. as well so going from one video and she's so strict on what she eats and then to other videos where she's eating whatever the hell she wants which i'm not saying is not allowed but i'm saying don't say you don't eat that stuff then in other videos you're saying that you do eat this stuff and yeah it's you're just showing two different things especially for a young audience it can get very confusing it's just going to confuse like, them do you know what if you're going to eat card you're allowed to eat carbs you're allowed to eat fats it's not going to affect you the only time it will affect you and you will put on weight is if you don't control it and you eat it all the time and the portion sizes are massive but and you're just eating a lot more than what you can burn and this is another thing is i've done what i eat in a day bearing in mind it's what my coach has given me so it's not it's specifically for my girls um specifically due to what they my coach knows how i'm going to gain weight which is my goal at the moment we're trying to gain weight and you will see such a variety of foods i've got white chocolate in there square bars chicken rice yogurt mcdonald's it's all about balance i have it, it yeah. really is and it's like i feel like these influencers are like no you can't eat you can't eat have pizza carbs. you're not allowed no you are though you are and also um going back to this massive brand that has sponsored this influencer um one of their athletes i i don't know whether to i mean she has done a youtube video but it's good it gives the brand away basically one of um one of this brand mention just mention her so rude so Sorry. basically, um, work related. A um, YouTuber, Na Natasha Ocean, Ocean, has put up a video of why she's not working with a specific brand anymore. And um, you basically know it more than me, so you can explain yeah. it. So basically, she was kind of doing a Q and A. I mean, um, the title of her video was "Why I Left." Blah blah blah. Um, I think I've probably made it really obvious, but whatever. So she obviously answers questions and things like that and then it gets onto this certain brand topic the reason why she has left she's very science-based and she will research everything can back everything up like fitness wise with science which i think we completely stand for yeah exactly i, I think as well us being fully qualified this is why it annoys us so much is because brands are just out there picking whoever just, and just it's because so they annoying and it's like we like you have to actually go through years of like training and education mm. to be able to actually do this yeah so basically she goes on to say how certain people she doesn't name the people certain people with this brand um well certain customers have emailed her saying that they've been told by certain people with this brand um, to go on a low calorie diet to do all these stupid stuff and things like that and she's then basically saying because they're coming to her she's tied to this brand she's then getting tied to everything else that all these other influencers all these other influencers are saying are you okay um so yeah and she doesn't want to be a part of that because they're she obviously doesn't agree with what they're saying because it is it's not right it's not you basically she, if 
it, just type in Natasha Ocean and just, the way she explains it is obviously so much better than I had because I watched it a few days ago so I can't really remember everything but just watch it and she, she explains it really really well um, and I think that is important is the fact that it does need to be backed by science you can't be going out giving advice when you actually don't know when you actually have it yeah and the the thing that is massive is is brands need to be more aware as to who they are actually sponsoring because again as well there are people out there who have had amazing transformations themselves and are getting sponsored by these brands but then you get people that just take a picture in a gym kit then all of a sudden because they've got a good following then they're then they're now sponsored with this brand and brands need to be so careful especially in the fitness industry mm. and they're putting their name with with that that person them, yeah that certain influencer um, and it just needs to yeah it just needs to be said a little bit louder for the people at the back really yeah i mean obviously it's not everyone a lot of um people are um qualified yeah, there, there are people sure, that are, there are um, fitness qualified. There is one brand that I'm I'm pretty like nice. I'm percent sure that like, do sponsor PTs. I feel um, like I know who it is. Who? Can I say it? Mm -mm. Mm. Whisper it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and they do their research on like who. Right. To, they're not. They don't hire anyone. Because it's very difficult to even be with that brand. Anyway, so. rant over. Hope you guys kind of... It's, it was a little bit of a messy one, but we just wanted to get our frustrations out There's there. There's kind of no structure that structure that we can even put to this video because... Oh, I can just go on forever with this yeah. topic. But basically what we're saying is brands need to be called out when they're using influencers for, like, for what? For fitness purposes, when they haven't got a clue what they're talking about. No, their technique is all over the place. They're awful. They're causing people to oh, get injured. And also, the influencer who um, we were talking about just now, they have also done a video for a TV show doing mm. a live workout with no a, i feel like it, was, it um, wasn't a life it, it was, was little clips of workouts for people to follow to for people to follow when again she just put up a picture of her in a gym kit and now she's doing all this right and i'm just saying, like but you're not qualified to do that you're not qualified to give that information especially out. on a massive it's a massive tv show we watched it when, well, we, were when, when we were younger it was massive i don't know if it's massive now but yeah they it get... just shouldn't be allowed like you're not qualified to do that yeah fair enough post a workout on your instagram but you also need to say where you got that workout from yeah because like i mentioned earlier you just do people to put in twists mm. to workouts and it's like that's not doing anything if anything that's just going to injure injure right. you like so you've got no idea that what that's gonna do yeah and you're pushing this to everyone out and yeah. the amount of times i've seen people just copy stuff is just a bit of a joke like really. whenever i do a workout like teach a workout or um put a video up oh um obviously you check if anyone's got any injuries obviously yeah. If you're putting a video up, it's go through techniques with them. You go through technique and you correct people, and you go and you obviously if it's video up on Instagram, you're like do this, not this, do this, yeah. not this. Exactly. So I hope you guys understand where we are coming from, and basically that brands and influencers shouldn't get away, mm -hmm. especially just with I think it's mainly with the fitness industry. Um, I just feel like it's it's kind of no it. It's gone to pretty much anyone. Yeah, it's not gone to. There's so many influencers out there who are qualified that and just who aren't do deserve it, and they're not. And getting, they're not getting any recognition mm -hmm. at all. Can you stop doing that with your leg? Right. Anyway, guys. Anyway, guys, <laughs> um, we're basically just rambling on now, so we're just gonna log out. Don't forget to. Did we say this? Um, I can't remember. Don't anyway, forget to comment, like, like subscribe. subscribe. Follow our Instagrams, you know the score. But yeah, basically this video is going to go up soon and we'll see you on our next video. Bye. Sorry, it was a long one.